Cash-strapped shoppers are flocking to dollar stores. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most surprising or good to be reminded about pieces of information about dollar stores. Look at the price. Yes, absolutely. A dollar fifty. Number ten. Not everything is a dollar. Our first fact may feel like the most obvious, but yeah, it isn't always a guarantee that every item in a self-styled dollar store costs just a buck. There's actually a precedent for this too, since dollar stores in Canada have been charging more than a dollar for numerous items for years now. Additionally, did you know that the Dollar General franchise isn't technically a simple dollar store? It and other chains like Family Dollar typically offer products that start at a dollar and can move upwards. The buck doesn't stop here, clearly. This place is amazing. Just like the good old days. Number nine. It all started with the five and ten. Hey, you know how Brian Adams famously references picking up his old six string at a five and dime in his song Summer of '69? Got my first real six string, boy, at the five and dime. These old-time affordable variety stores, sometimes also known as five and tens, were essentially the precursors for modern-day dollar stores that sell an incredible multitude of items. Affordable low-end nickel and dime stores that gained huge popularity way back in the day would eventually see their business model evolve into the dollar store model that's now omnipresent. The more you know. Number eight, free shipping. Thrifty shoppers looking to save even more bucks should be excited to hear our next fact. Free shipping has been all the rage for years, with many consumers filling their online carts in order to reach that minimum price point. But what if that price point is already super low? It may seem too good to be true, and it's not home shipping, but the Dollar Tree chain offers their customers the ability to order online and have their order shipped for free to the local Dollar Tree store of their choice. This not only saves customers money, but could also cut down on time for busy families. Number seven, location is a big deal. Dollar stores don't always have such a positive effect on the local economies in which they're located. Introducing your new neighborhood Dollar General. It's all similar to the ethical questions of giant chains like Walmart, as many local mom and pop stores eventually get pushed out by the predominance of dollar chains. The company is bucking current retail trends by expanding rapidly and opening stores away from population centers. These dollar stores traditionally focus their market strategies in lower income neighborhoods to the point where some states like Alabama keep close eyes upon exactly how many can open within a given area. Additionally, the food deserts that can be exacerbated by dollar stores can result in families being forced to shop for processed mass market foods at the dollar store instead of shopping more healthfully. Critics say Dollar General's strategies harm local communities by not providing healthy food options and potentially hurting the local small business economy. Number six, cleanliness can be an issue. So probably the last thing customers want to think about are rodents. Right now, federal inspectors say they have found more than a thousand rodents inside the same distribution center. Yet yeah, that's exactly the sort of unsettling subject that came to light about the family dollar chain when the state of Arkansas flagged one of their distribution centers for a rodent infestation. Family Dollar is initiating a voluntary recall of FDA-regulated products from stores in six states. The grossness doesn't stop there either, as the Dollar General chain has also been dinged in the past for sanitation and safety practices. This has resulted in fines as well as a black eye in terms of how the realm of dollar stores appears to the general public. And the shelving that's stained or damaged beyond reasonable standards needs to be replaced. Number five, there's a lot of competition. There's only so much consumer business to go around, as well as a lot of franchises all vying for a piece of the pie. From the aforementioned Dollar Tree and Dollar General, to Family Dollar and even Five Below, there's a lot of competition going on for low prices. Looks like you have everything you need to kick off a great school year. But dollar stores overall don't only see things from a bottom line perspective, but also from a sociological one. Dollar stores essentially bet on the old adage, times are hard, and tailor their business models to that even if shoppers at all income levels frequent dollar stores. We deliver top brands at bargain prices. Number four, working at a dollar store usually doesn't pay well. The phrase minimum wage doesn't necessarily mean living wage, and nowhere is this more evident than in the work culture of a dollar store. Hi, you must be Ashley. It's great to have you with us. Employees who work at these sorts of places tend to see wages on the low end of the spectrum and get fewer or no benefits than the average retail worker. Dollar General is hiring. 
We need people who are enthusiastic about our mission of serving others. Additionally, these employees are often required to wear multiple hats rather than specializing in just one job function. These harried multitasking workers can, as a result, not be in a position to offer the best service or keep the shelves properly stocked. Take the opportunity to be the face of the company. Number three, dollar stores outnumber Walmarts. It seems almost inconceivable given how we as consumers usually think about retail giants like Walmart. There's more than four times as many Dollar Generals as there are Walmarts. It's true, however. Dollar stores combined, in the most expansive sense of the term, simply have them beat in terms of number of stores. Dollar General surpassed Dollar Tree with over 17,000 stores nationwide. That's more than Walmart and McDonald's combined. This doesn't mean that these dollar chains don't struggle to compete with Walmart in terms of pricing. However, when you combine them both, there are enough Dollar General and Dollar Tree stores to outnumber not only Walmart, but other major value retailers, including Costco, Kroger, even CVS and Walgreens. Net sales at Dollar General increased 21.6% in 2020 compared to the year prior, far outpacing the 1.9% increase at Walmart. Number two, you can find name brands. The inventory of many dollar stores can vary from location to location, so it pays to shop around at any in your area. All of the great brands you love are there, with plenty of snacks, beverages, cookies, and candy to stock your pantry day to day. The ever-shifting nature of the marketplace means wholesalers and supply chains sometimes provide name brand products to dollar stores in addition to the generic or unfamiliar labels one might find browsing the aisles. However, smart shoppers should pay attention to the labels on these products, since oftentimes it's a smaller sized option that's being made available to dollar stores. As a result, the customer isn't really saving as much as they might think and might just be better off picking up that product somewhere else. I have my favorites. But just because I like big name brands doesn't mean I want to pay big time prices. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, dollar stores aren't always the best value. This ties into our aforementioned discussion about well-known branded products and their occasionally quirky sizing. The smartest shoppers always keep tabs on the unit prices of their favorite products, not only at their go-to store, but at other options around town. Big box stores, for example, can sometimes still end up coming out cheaper in the end versus the dollar store, simply because they offer name brand products at their full sizes for a unit price that's a better value. I could go to Family Dollar and I could buy six rolls for $5. Or I could go to Walmart and I could buy 30 rolls for $24. Plus, nearly every retailer possesses a file maintenance team that's dedicated to keeping tabs on shelf tags, signs, and changing unit prices on a weekly basis. In other words, keep your eyes open for the best value. Dollar Tree, which has tens of thousands of stores in North America, announcing it'll be raising prices on most of its items. Do you shop at dollar stores? Have you ever worked in one? Let us know your experience in the comments. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.